we were talking about a teacher he had. He went to a magnet school for computer science. And I said, you know, we're seeing AI as this wonderful tutor. Do you see this point where AI replaces teachers? And, and Jakob, understand whose job is to get AI to be as useful and as widely deployed as possible, laughed at that idea because he pointed out his favorite teacher inspired him. And it inspired him because that person had a real experience. And it's one thing, ChatGPT can be as you know sycophantic or whatever we talk about it as you want. End of the day, it starts to feel like, okay, but you know, how do you really feel? And having real experience can make something and give us more value. And I think that's something we overlook. That's why I think that I think that classroom AI is gonna be super beneficial. We're already seeing examples of that. It's extremely helpful. But at the end of the day, I wanna have a human there with real experience that's also gonna encourage me and tell me. Like, I love memory techniques. One of my favorite teachers, Anthony Mativier, he does things on memory, on YouTube and whatnot. And I can ask ChatGPT about memory, which I do a lot, but listening to somebody who actually tried the methods is much more useful to me in the long run. Hmm. Why? Because you get to hear the, the what went wrong and what because I, his foibles were. Yeah, it, it's g taking coaching advice from somebody who never played football versus somebody who actually played the game. And, and memory methods, like somebody who actually has real experience doing the thing, that's got a lot of value. And I think that we, we think about like how much of what we want is, I need proof that it worked. And the ultimate laboratory is human experience when it comes to trying to figure out what to do with your own experience.